guys, my name is Emma and today is day two of the 25 days of perspective. We are going to talk about climate justice today. What is it? What does it mean? So when people talk about climate change, they usually talk about the different ways that the environment is being destroyed, such as deforestation, ocean acidification, ocean dead zones, and the extinction of animals. But what climate justice does is it talks about how people are affected by climate change. And the best way to explain how climate change affects people is through this idea of vulnerability. The more vulnerable somebody is to disasters such as tsunamis or hurricanes or something that's con usually considered a natural disaster, usually doesn't affect people in the exact same way and these natural disasters are getting worse because of climate change. So they're not entirely natural. And what is happening is that the most vulnerable people, those who are less resilient to these disasters, and resilience can be defined as if you have a certain normal and something comes in and it knocks it out of the course, how long does it take, take to get back to normal? So if somebody loses their job, if somebody is in a place and their house gets destroyed, or if they lose their job, do they still have access to healthcare? Like, what happens when a big shift occurs? How quickly can they get back to a life that they had before? For most people in the world, losing the place that they live coincides with losing their job and everything has to start from scratch. And that is very difficult. Even here, if somebody loses their job, they usually lose access to health care. So a lot or lose to accessible health care. It's still there. You just have to pay when you can't. And then if you lose a job, you might not have the income to pay for it. So that is what the idea of vulnerable is, how quickly you can get back to normal. Most people fall into the very vulnerable, especially across the world. Where most people live is where their job is. If one gets affected, the other one is affected, then the whole family is at a loss. So that is what the idea of climate change is in regards to climate justice. So how I was involved with this in school was I got to present on this topic at different summits, at different universities, and to continue to hold this conversation and a majority of the time, I would just use a slide of pictures, just different pictures of showing what children were facing when it came to climate change, how they were being affected, because we can usually identify with children the most because they are, in most people's eyes, the most vulnerable. And when you coincide that with the idea of climate change, it really does sharpen that picture sharpen that image of what's happening. So that is how I was affected by it. And it was usually they were in situations where they were creating products for many of us to use, like clothing or oil or plastic. There was very shocking images that were used to try and get people to make their own conclusion about it. I was just giving them different perspectives and it was up to them to decide what they were going to do with it. So I encourage you to look down in the description. There's going to be some challenges every single day. There are going to be quick little things that you can do if you don't want to sit down and watch any of the resources or if you want to do that at a later time. These little challenges will hopefully only take you a few minutes, but it'll just get you to think more about the world that you live in. So I hope you check those out. I hope to see you tomorrow and have an amazing day.